So we're on the uh, annual squad Christmas visit, just tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, it's obviously a yearly thing that we've been doing now for a number of years, certainly since I've been, been at the club and since the manager came back, a very important time of year for us. Not just football-wise, you know, we've got a lot of games coming up, um, a lot of training sessions, but this is the most important thing, I think, away from football, um, to come and visit some of the children who aren't so well and hopefully put a smile on their faces. Half of the squad at Julie's house and half here at the hospital visit, something that it's a, it's a pleasure to do, come and chat to some of the children that are in here, um, like I said, hopefully cheer them up. Um, they're all very keen on, on the football as well, so it's great to have a little chat and, and hand out some presents. There's a little buzz when you come in in the morning especially because some people have not realised it's happening on the particular day because we don't necessarily tell everybody up front and then when they realise what's happening it's like oh that's amazing and the patients because you don't know what patients you're going to have so on the day it's who's here but um, we've got some big football fans here today. The kids absolutely love it, they find it amazing, they just get really, really enjoy seeing all those premiership footballers come and see us. They're very important, the people that work here. They put in so many hours and so much hard work to, to hope that the children's time here are, are precious, you know, and important. And um, no, we, we put out a lot of thanks to them. It's not just the kids, for us as well. It's very rewarding, you know, you go home, you have a look at yourself and, and realise that we're in a very fortunate position to be able to come here, um, speak to a lot of the kids. And like I said, it's an hour out of our day and it's something that we really want to do. It's been a lovely day.